Good morning, everybody. It is uh, December 1st today. Clearly, we're back north. Um, it got down to minus 10 last night. It is currently minus 8 degrees. It is warming up. It's supposed to get up close to 0 degrees, I do believe, today. And the 724 was not plugged in because we didn't know when we would be up here next. So we're like, ah, no sense of plugging it in. But we did park everything nice and close to the power. So we could plug stuff in, but uh, anyways, long story short, we are saying goodbye to the Fent 724. And uh, I was like, you know what? Really gonna miss this tractor. I actually do really like this tractor. But then when I went to fire it up this morning, because the truck is here and they want to load it, of course it was too cold to go because the Deutz engines are terrible starters. At least around here I've had a lot of them. This is like my third, I think, 724, I don't know. And, uh, or 7 series tractor, I should say. Of course it wouldn't start. Cranked and cranked and it didn't crank very long. It was like, roo, roo, roo. So we plugged, we uh, put the booster cables on here and uh, gave it about 15 minutes and we managed to get it going. So I'm not going to miss that. So we put about 900 hours on this machine. And uh, it does have duels. They obviously go with the tractor. And we will talk more about why and what we're gonna replace it with here in a little bit. But I wanna get it over to the trucker who's waiting on it. All right, we got them all loaded up, chained down. Got the tires loaded. He's just about to take off, I believe. It's a sweet looking rig. It's got a nice truck. Bye bye, 724. All right. So, when one thing goes, I guess another one comes new. So, it's bittersweet. You, I am going to miss that tractor, though. I'm not going to miss how it starts. Not at all. But I'm definitely going to miss the operation, uh, even the size of it, because it was just perfect for dumping into. Uh, semi trucks when you're picking up grain bags bittersweet again bittersweet and I guess this is what replaces it uh, this is the this is a new 930 um, with the same blade that we picked up last year now this blade is a 4203 I believe don't ask me what all those numbers mean I can't remember but let's just say that we are going to have no problem pushing this little blade around because this is pretty much a perfect size for the 724, which is actually what it was purchased for, was 724. Um, it's brand spanking new. The dealer, uh, they got all the hydraulic hoses set to the right length. They wired in our plug so we, we were all operational and they actually hooked it and everything up, tried it, made sure stuff works. It's never been used, but we're going to use it to push snow if we get any snow this year, so far it's been brown. And I'm, I'm you know, to be honest, North Farm, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that right now. But yeah, this is the machine. It's VF650s up front. VF750s on the back. I think they got too much air in them. It is capable of having duels, uh, but I did not buy duels for it, just so you know. Just going to run the singles. All right. Oh, obviously you can tell this one has already been fitted with John Deere guidance. It's actually a little chilly out here for my bare hands. The 
is the first time I've been in this tractor. What the heck is this? Oh, this is for the hitch. Smells pretty new. So, this is the Gen 6 or 7 or whatever they want to call it in these. Same as the 724. That's going to bother me. There we go. This should slide up. I think it is. John, your guidance. Um, this one does not have a heated back window. So, not sure about that. I didn't order it. It just happened to be unlocked. But, I definitely love the cab. If only we could get a loader for a 9 Series. That would be sweet Marie. So anyways, here's the test. Where's my shut off? This tractor did not come today. Um, it's been here for a little while. So this is going to be our true test to see which one starts better. This has got the MAN engine in it, which is one of the m number one reasons why I actually bought it. So don't let me down. Do not. Okay. All right. Well, let's just give it a little bit of a go plug this thing. Remember that the uh, 724 did not start without getting boosted. I'm hoping that this one will start. Does this thing have go plugs on it? I do not see gold books. Let's cycle power again just so I can pay closer attention. I did not wait long enough. I don't think this has gold books. Interesting. All right, well. Oh my goodness, fires right up. Like it's, like, whoa, why was this thing? Must have been when he shut it off. Fired right up like it's no man's business. That is why I got this tractor. I knew I liked those MAN engines. I knew it. 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 That's awesome. Maybe I should have got a bigger front blade now that there's a bigger tractor on the front, but uh, it wasn't in the budget. So This is what we got. This is what we'll use. We'll just be gentle. I know that it is possible to break these three point inches, but by the look of the steel and everything on here, I feel like my blade is going to be the first thing that's going to break if anything's going to break if you hit something solid. Though it does have trips, these springs right here. I believe, I believe this is the separation. If this cutter bar hits something, it'll actually fold it back, trip it out. I believe. Don't quote me on that. I did keep my hydraulic top link back. So that way I can put on that little three-point uh, double disc in case I ever wanted to do so. Oh, I don't know. This looks a little wider. Oh, and I did put uh, another Obasto on. So we can fire that up if we need to, if we can't get power to wherever this thing might be sitting. 724 also had that. Where did they put my little uh, timer here? That one looks different. It must be a newer model or something. Where's my time? Oh, it's in here. Interesting. Interesting. I guess it's out of the way. Oh, my bad. Hitting buttons in here. See if we can figure out how to pick this blade up.
Okay. Okay. Huh. Maybe I should just read it, eh? I'm gonna idle this thing up a little bit. So, I hope that they put it on here, because that would be sweet marine. Maybe I'll unlock my hydraulics. They did. I guess it is on my three point. Okay, alright, 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 I gotta think about this for a second. Nope, 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 nope. I guess it's this button right here. There it is. Eyes and lips. Technically, it could lift higher if I put it in the bottom hole. That's still pretty good, though. And then let's. What hydraulics do they got here? I'm just learning this for the first time. Pink, 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 pink. Got it, pink. All right, let's see if we can figure this out. Pink. Where's pink? Pink. Should be able to put pink on here, right? Right? Well, I guess I don't have to put you guys through all that. I can just play around here. Why is nothing happening? It was on pink, wasn't it? But, you know what, we'll have to, we'll figure that out in a little later date here. Steering wheel feels different than the 724. I'm not sure why, but it does. All right. Okay, guys. So, oops, sorry about that. I almost dropped my phone here. I know you guys got, can't even see looking into that sun. I know you guys got lots of questions like, Mike, why would you get rid of your only loader tractor for a bigger tractor? What's the deal, deal, man? And that's a really good question. First of all, I, I know I'm gonna miss a loader tractor. I don't think it's a matter of, you know, will Mike have to get another loader tractor? It's just a matter of what type of loader tractor is Mike going to get. The reason why I wanted to upgrade uh, to the 930, this was actually the first deal I did prior to having those doing the deals with those case tractors. This is like this has been a long time in the works actually, like during harvest. Um, I wasn't happy with the reliability of the 724. That is the number one reason. Number one reason, not happy with the reliability of the 724 because I can never get it going. And when I do get it going, like I'm talking in the cold. Summertime is no problem. Good and reliable in the summer. I'm talking winter up north. When you do get it going, it always throws a death code. Always throws a death code. Now, I hope that this MAN engine is a little bit more reliable when it comes to the emissions part of it. I'm really only basing that off of the three 1050s that I had and the 1167. All MAN engines, I had a death sensor go on the 1167 on day one, three out, two or three hours into my very first day and then it's been trouble free ever since then. And we were running it in minus 20 uh, when we were picking up those oats and putting them in the bin last winter. Uh, the 1050, I had started the 1050 without being plugged in. It was actually sitting at uh, my case dealer in Swift Current. My, I think this is my first one, 2017 green 1050 I had. Uh, it was sitting in Swift Current. I don't remember why it was at my case dealership, but for whatever reason it was there and I needed to drive it home, and it was minus 20 degrees Celsius. I, I clearly remember that temperature. I'm like, this thing is not plugged in. It's probably not gonna start. It just fired right up like it was no man's business. It just, done deal, just like this thing did. So that's the number one reason. I just need, I need a tractor that I can get up here and uh, push snow, move fertilizer around, which is what we're doing. Um, I just gotta have a reliable tractor up here. I can't drive up here, even when the 724 is plugged in. You guys know I've talked about this until I'm blue in the face. 
If it's minus 25 to 30 degrees Celsius, it doesn't matter if that Webasco's running and it's plugged in, it ain't going. It ain't going. Um, and I just need a reliable tractor. So that's the reason why. Now, I also did just get rid of my only loader tractor and you guys saw that when we were picking up those grain bags, we would not have been able to do that without having a loader tractor. So fortunately we are already done picking up our grain bags so I have a bit of a window until really this time next year until I actually have to do something. But I will have to do something. And I really do like the transmission of the fence. I'm a big transmission MFD fence kind of guy. Higher horsepower tractors on a heavy draw bar load, maybe not so much, although the 1167 was spot on. But, probably gonna have to do something in the future, so don't be surprised to see another loader tractor coming in. Now, what's this thing gonna do in the spring and summer? Well, it's gonna be uh, pulling a roller, because I have to roll at the South Farm, and I'm really gonna need to roll at the North Farm, and uh, this is not gonna replace my uh, old red over there. My Case 9380 is not going to replace that. It's just that tractor is, has the ability to work here or there, and this tractor has the ability to work wherever that tractor is not. So, and this one will actually run the uh, 125 foot 16 inch auger that we have. The 724 going up to those 12 ring bins. Um, you had to be quite careful with how heavy you loaded it because you would stall the tractor out. We got a lot more ponies in this one, and we have a lot more capable ponies that we can put into this one if we wanted to or needed to. And uh, the 724, we just did not have those options. So, those are the reasons why. And am I excited about it? Absolutely. What am I doing here? This is a little different from the 724. Make me hold this for a second. Yeah, it did. Nope. What am I doing? I don't even need to do that. Just drive, Mike. Just drive. Automatically. Right. It's been a while, guys. Pedal mode. Now don't get me wrong, you can only push snow with a blade for so far until you actually have to have a loader tractor to pile it up. Again, I know I'm going to miss the loader tractor. I'm just not going to miss that particular engine and how it starts. How come you didn't get duels? Because your brother has a 930 back home. It's the older series. Uh, but he's got duels front and du duels back. Why wouldn't you get duels? Uh, basically, I just didn't want to spend the money to get the duels. For how often I will use the duels, I really didn't want to spend the money. Now watch, I'm just going to be needing duels because I'm going to want to pull like heavy loads with this thing all the time. <laughs> oh man. But no, I just didn't feel like spending extra capital to get tires. Tires and rims are expensive. They're expensive. the 724 on the 930 because I needed a good starting tractor when I get up here but anyways you guys get it you guys got it figured okay okay
All right, guys. I will catch you on the flipper. Adios, amigos.